climate crisis and its devastating effects are everywhere and undeniable. Communities least responsible are most affected. These are just a few stories from the front line of humanity's greatest threat. I grew up in, I grew up and lived in um, two different areas of London and one in East London and one of one in South London. And both of those areas are two of the most um, polluted areas in London. Sometimes, um, you know, I would just cough and there'd be like, just disgusting but like black stuff and um, that would come up and a lot of like different Londoners have also experienced this as well <laughs> my younger brother really suffered with asthma and um, because of the air pollution um, he had asthma attacks and yeah that was quite um, worrying And it's not until he actually moved away that his asthma just disappeared. Like he doesn't have it anymore because he doesn't live um, in those areas in London. Most like most highly polluted areas, it's mainly black and brown communities that live there. And it's the same across the UK as well. And that these communities should have to grow up um, in these conditions and be subject to that because it's a public health issue. It's just so unjust, um, and that's why it's so important that they, that we have equity in our solutions, and that that is addressed alongside um, the crisis, and that communities that are disproportionately impacted are really accounted for. Now you you you're getting which if you shit for the climate, you know? That's the way to get rich. It must be the other way. You have to get yeah. poor if you shit for the climate. You have to get rich if you make something really good for it. This, this has to be changed. I live on a small island. The island is called Langeoog. It's uh, in the North Sea. It's a very small island we, uh, without cars. It's, it's really beautiful here. Um, we live, of course, um, like the Neverland Islands, uh, only from, from the tourists. The, the little changes of the, of the climate um, we noticed very, very long ago. The, the fruits are earlier, ready in the year, only the 20 years ago, only one week, now nearly one month. But it's it's difficult because it's it's only it, it starts with very, very little things. Um, the most people didn't notice this because they don't live in this nature like us. The the storm is coming earlier. It starts to be a crisis that we notice that it's really, really dangerous. Uh, maybe 10 years ago. The storms are coming earlier, the water is going higher and after a, a very very small dune we have our sweet water the sweet water from for our island and if this dune will break it's so we can close our island that's really really dangerous right now they are they are filling up the sand from uh, in front of the dunes every year so that that we can save our drinking water we we can not only just close our business we can close the whole island is finished it's completely yeah it's a that's a real lockdown then 